JavaScript is arguably one of the most popular programming languages in the world. Various statistics such as Google Trends, the GitHub ranking and Stack Overflow service all confirm the importance of JavaScript for developers. Of course, this popularity is also reflected in the job market. According to HackerRank, about 50% of employers are looking for developers with JavaScript skills. Needless to say, learning JavaScript will significantly improve your career opportunities, whether you want to work for a company or start your own business as a developer. This is Coding to Go, and in this video we're going to talk about what JavaScript is and why you should learn it. In addition, I'm going to show you what specific steps you need to take in order to master this amazing programming language. So you will have a complete roadmap for your exciting journey to become a professional JavaScript developer. What is JavaScript? Rather than bombarding you with useless technical terms, we prefer to keep things simple. Simply put, JavaScript is a programming language. It was developed by Netscape in 1995 with the purpose to make websites dynamic and interactive. At that time, websites were built primarily with HTML and were therefore static and lifeless. This was about to change with JavaScript. Now websites could interact with the user, evaluate user inputs and dynamically change the HTML code. Whenever a website needs to do more than just display static information, you can be sure that JavaScript works in the background. For example, when you create a tweet on Twitter, leave a like under this video or scroll through your favorite streaming provider, it is very likely that JavaScript is involved. Today, JavaScript is used for more than 95% of all websites on the internet. Big tech companies like Netflix, PayPal and Facebook rely on JavaScript. With the help of a huge community and the support of big tech companies like Facebook and Google, JavaScript is constantly being improved. This regularly results in new tools, frameworks and libraries that make your life as a developer easier. This gives you virtually unlimited freedom. No matter if you want to create a facial recognition software, graphical visualization of data, mobile apps or even games, JavaScript offers the necessary tools to make your dream project a reality. However, learning JavaScript can get quite challenging, considering how fast new technologies arise that you as a developer have to keep up with. So you should be prepared to learn new JS libraries every now and then without hanging on too much to outdated technologies you've learned before. With this in mind, this channel is intended to serve you as a guide to help you master this amazing programming language. I promise you it is worth the time. As you can see, JavaScript is a powerful and versatile programming language. In this video, we mainly focus on the role of JavaScript in web development, because it remains the primary purpose of JavaScript. Therefore, in the next section, we will take a look at the structure of websites and the role JavaScript plays in them. How do websites work? When working with websites, there are three core technologies that you need to know. HTML, CSS and JavaScript. HTML is responsible for the structure of the web page. It determines what should be displayed on the page, such as headings, images and links. On the other hand, CSS tells the browser how the HTML content should be displayed. It handles the design aspects of the page, such as colors, layouts and so on. With HTML and CSS, you can already do a lot and create beautiful and modern websites. However, these websites remain quite static. For some websites, that may be okay if you only want to present information. However, many websites nowadays need to interact with the user. To do that, you need JavaScript. JavaScript determines what the website should do, which means how it should behave and how it should respond to specific user inputs. In other words, HTML is the skeleton of the website, CSS the body which surrounds the skeleton, and JavaScript is the brain. Only together they create a complete and functional website. These three languages, HTML, CSS and JavaScript, are known as client-side languages because they are executed directly on the user's computer. The opposite of client-side is server-side. These terms refer to the place where the code is executed. While JavaScript is interpreted in the client's browser, other languages such as PHP and Python run on the server. These two terms, client-side and server-side, are really important to know in order to understand web development. Let's take a look at what happens in the background when you visit a website. Let's say you are on Google and you are searching for a specific website. For example, youtube.com. As soon as you hit enter, your browser sends an HTTP request to the server. The server responds by sending various files to the browser. These files are generally HTML, CSS and JavaScript files, as well as additional resources such as images and icons. Your browser reads these files, interprets them, and displays them in form of a website. That means that these three languages are executed directly on the user's computer. This has the advantage that it enables faster interaction with the user because we don't have to communicate with the server all the time. This improves the user experience and at the same time relieves the server. 
However, very often you also need scripts that run on the server. For example, if you work with databases and want to store data permanently on your site, for instance, the high score in a video game or the posts in a forum. The browser is not aware of what is happening on the server. It only receives the result in form of HTML code. There are several programming languages that run on the server, including PHP, Java, Python, and C Sharp. Nowadays, it is also possible to execute JavaScript code on the server. The technology used for this purpose is called Node.js. JS stands for JavaScript. Therefore, JavaScript is the only programming language that you can run on both the client side and the server side. So these are actually great news for you. You don't have to learn so many languages anymore. Instead, when you have learned JavaScript, you can use just one language to develop both the backend and the frontend. When creating full stack web applications in JavaScript, the frontend is typically created with the help of a framework or library such as React.js, while the backend is developed in Node.js. If you want to become a full stack JavaScript developer, there are a few steps you need to take. Here is a short roadmap to guide you on your journey. First, start by mastering the fundamentals of HTML and CSS, which form the building blocks of web development. Once you have a solid foundation in HTML and CSS, you can dive into the core concepts of JavaScript. Learn about variables, conditional statements, loops, functions, and other basics of programming. With a good understanding of JavaScript, you can explore the exciting world of the document object model, DOM. JavaScript DOM allows you to create dynamic websites that can interact with the user. At this point, it is worth working on practical projects such as creating a to-do app to improve your understanding of DOM manipulation and programming in general. Now that you are comfortable with DOM manipulation, it is time to explore popular JavaScript frameworks like React.js, Angular or Vue.js. These frameworks provide powerful tools and libraries to optimize your development process, allowing you to create modern websites more efficiently. By now, you can already consider yourself an experienced front-end developer. But what if you aspire to create highly complex websites like Twitter, Instagram or Amazon, where you need to handle user data, create online chats and process bank transactions? For tasks like this, you will need to learn a server-side language like Node.js. So this was a brief overview of what you can expect on your journey to become a full-stack JavaScript developer. If you find this a bit confusing, no need to worry. This channel will cover all of these topics in future videos, providing guidance as you progress towards becoming a professional JavaScript developer. If this sounds interesting, feel free to subscribe to our channel to ensure you don't miss out on any valuable content. This was Coding2Go, and we will see you in future videos.